Hi everyone, so I am back to cut the coffee soaps. And here we have the unscented coffee soap. Turned out great, it has a nice swirl from the cocoa cacao powder it says. So you can see that the cacao powder swirl is a little bit lighter but it is going to darken up the same as this one. It smells so good. I just love unscented soap. I just have a thing for it. I think it's so nice to be able to reset and um, just kind of go back to basics with the soap. Sometimes I do love fragrance soaps also and I use use them every day somewhere in my house. But I do love unscented soap. And if you ever have a time where you're just your skin's feeling sensitive or you know it's the depths of winter, sometimes an unscented uh, soap is the way to go. But this is nice and fun by having some coffee and some cream and a swirl while still being unscented. And there's plenty of people out there that can't use fragrances at all. And I just have fun with the unscented soaps. I have so many different kinds that I do and keep in rotation. I tend to rotate my soaps mostly because I have 150 plus uh, soaps. I went through all my list of very popular ones, ones that everybody like and ask me to bring back, but I just can't keep them in stock all of the time. So if there's something in particular that you're wanting, I will always try to work it into the rotation, but it often can take a while just because um, getting in supplies and time restraints, etc. Okay, so I'm going to move on and I will probably cut this one at the end. So here we have the Irish cream and it did discolor more down here on the edges. It sat in the mold for several days and when I had molded this, this whole thing was very creamy and now it is darkening. So it'll all darken to this color down here. That's just from the vanillin in the fragrance. I'm really excited to see what the swirl ended up being in this one. I hope I love it. All right, so I'm just gonna take a little bit off the end. Stick it down in there. That's not much of a swirl here on the end. So these soaps have been made almost a week and as a result they are going to have um, some different discoloration so see on the top here it started to discolor more from coming down in than it did here on this edge so all of these this soap and the espresso soap will both have this it's going to discolor to this color probably a little bit darker um, but this is just the effect of the vanillin in the fragrance will discolor this soap brown. But it comes in from the edges, obviously. So now that this is cut, now this edge will start discoloring also. And they're so cute, the little coffee beans. Love it. I'm really digging this fragrance. This is another mixture. I tend to mix a lot of my fragrances. And it smells 
so good. I've used several different ones. Um, I've used a coffee bean ice cream scent before that I use in my sugar or my coffee type scrub. Um, it's a little creamy, a little more caramel than even this has. Um, and then the espresso is more of a sharper coffee note. But this one, I don't know, it's so creamy. So for me, this kind of represents my coffee. I like my coffee um, strong, but I like to be able to put in enough cream that not that it's not that it's white, but probably the medium color and then maybe a little darker than that still. But I do like cream in my coffee and I like my coffee to be strong enough that I can put the cream in it and it still is very coffee like. So like when we go to Starbucks and I'll get a Frappuccino I tend to get an extra espresso shot because I really want the uh, coffee flavor to come through. I used to be a coffee weakling and always kind of started with the uh, cappuccinos at the gas station and those just kind of moved on to frappuccinos at Starbucks and then we kind of got tired of paying for the frappuccinos all the time. Now it's just a treat, kind of a Friday night treat that we do to celebrate a good week and lots of work done. Um, but typically just like an iced coffee and we do like them strong. Coffee is one of those things that you either love it or you hate it. Some people do love the smell of it but can't handle the, um, this is going to have to be a, we'll see, I might be able to clean this end up as a full bar. Anyway, you either love it or you hate it usually. Some people just like smelling it. Some people can't handle the smell at all. Hmm, let me think. I think I'll start on this end. Now this one, it kind of looks ashy, but it's not ashy. It's actually the um, creamier color pulled up and then the darker color on the top kind of smeared around and so it's discoloring and it kind of makes a wonky look. Okay, I'll take a little end off of here. Now I noticed that my espresso soap did overheat so I need to check to see if I've Glycerin rivers. I am liking the swirls. It'll be fun to see how they're fully discolored. I probably won't come back and check in with you on this particular um, video, but I will have pictures at the end. That's the problem when you work with a discoloring fragrance. You have to wait around a while. And if you do have a discoloring fragrance, it's usually best to get it cut fairly soon, otherwise that outside ring may just stay that way. Kind of stay darker than the rest of it. I mean, initially within the first month or so. Um, usually it, it evens out because it's only going to go so far in the long run. But anywho's it. That's the story on that situation. I have had some soaps where um, they never quite fully discolored in the middle compared to the outside, but it's pretty rare. I just love this soap. Oh my goodness. So, I definitely better be getting another batch of this made because if you guys like it as much as I'm liking it, it's going to do well, I do believe. It's like... This is a section that I can get caught up on my little end piece. So that'll be a nice sample. So that spoon ended up making a fairly even swirl. I'll come move it around in case it's a little overexposed for you there. It's kind of blinding, still pretty creamy.
At this stage in the game, we have bought the cord for me to try to um, watch my recording as I make it on, say, an iPad or my laptop, but I haven't hooked it up yet. We're just those type of people. We get things in and well, it just seems like it takes forever to get to it. Okay, so moving on to the last batch, which is the espresso. And it's getting pretty close to the final color. It's very much a nice coffee color. Kind of has um, the reddish tones to it as opposed to just um, kind of creamy brown. Can you see that difference? Surely you can. Oh, it smells so good. Everything just smells so good. I just do like my coffee. So this is the one that's very noticeable because it's quite yellow inside. I need to flip this over. Well, it doesn't seem like it's pulling the coffee in too much. Sometimes when there's gritty or textured stuff on the front, sometimes the wire will pull it through. And then you need to kind of flip it over like this so that the wire is only coming down through here instead of pulling it down the length of the soap. But as long as it's working okay, I do prefer to cut top. So, and that is the neatest ring. I really do love it. And when I posted a picture of this a while back, one of my last batches, well, it's probably been this time last year, um, it was quite a popular picture. And people asked how I achieved this. But again, this is just the vanillin. It's just going to continue to discolor. I probably won't even retake any pictures of this batch. I have have one I like pretty good, so I'll probably just keep using it. I find that my batches vary just enough that I almost always have to take new pictures. And just a little bit of difference in color or stick blending and all that. Oop, that one did kind of pull through. Um, interesting how it's pulling the discoloration down from the weight of the coffee grounds. Kind of interesting. Um, anyway, my batches are always just a little bit different for one way or another, but that's because it's handcrafted. And that's also the exciting part of handcrafted soap. But it does mean I usually have to retake my pictures. But I try not to. So you'll have to tell me, what is your favorite coffee? Do you just like it black? Do you... I've never drank black coffee. I don't think I've ever done that. I probably, by the time I'm 20 more years down the road, who knows, I may have switched over. But what do you like? Tell me what you like. Where do you like to go? We tend to just make our coffee at home, except for on Friday night when we get our treat. Um, when we run packages into town or... There's always something we've got to get in town. Saturday is our day to be lazy. So we usually run into town to make sure we have groceries. So you can see here, this one's just moderately discoloring. We usually run into town for groceries. We're in town for some reason or another. So, um, we do like scooters an awful lot. Never had, I don't know if I've ever had caribou like at a location because they're pretty few and far between when we lived in Kansas City anyway. And I've never really been to any others. But we do find them as scooters down here. They're out of Nebraska. So they're they're working their way. They're working their way out and about. I do really like their frappuccinos. It's very or blended, I guess they call them the ice blended ones. They're very um creamy and definitely different than a Starbucks frappuccino. But um very sweet. So I do end up adding more coffee. I usually um, do like half sweet a lot of the time. I really don't like all of the sweetness. But anyway, so I am probably just going to do some silent soap cutting here at the end for those of you that love such things. 
And so I will talk to you guys later.